AJ, uh, another narrow win. It was a bit touch and go there at the end. How did you, how did you sum up that one? Yeah, I was saying it was a carbon copy of the Wigan game, to be honest. I mean, we had control at the back. Um, a lot of fans on, well, a bit nervy when it comes to playing football at the back as well. But we had a lot of possession. Whilst it wasn't effective, um, I think we controlled the game quite well, same as Wigan as well. Um, so, yeah, fairly comfortable. Again, similar to Wigan as well towards the end. Um, that a, a couple of moments, but I think all in all, we deserve that. Yeah. Um, it's a bit tight, so the one that was in the week as well. Um, we're lacking players as well, aren't we? Got a lot of injuries. Yeah, I don't know. It's um, 11 games to go now. Obviously, a nice result for us last night, but I was more, I was more on edge. Um, I, thought, I don't know if it was because I thought it was going to be more comfortable today, um, a bit more, and then we, we got a goal. You know, not early on, but in the first half, and if I get the second, then it should be game over. You know, we've let in one goal in 11 games now here. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, it was just nervy towards the end because just just one goal and two points dropped, and that two points could be all the. You know, we we will we make the playoffs? Will we not? I think we will just, but two points could be the difference. Uh, it's nervy. Um, well, this home form is just incredible, as we keep saying. We just got to take it on the road now. Um, Cardiff on Wednesday, so I haven't been able to sort of kill teams off this week. Two teams down the bottom is. Do you think that's more them coming and, and setting up deep, or is there something sort of we're lacking a bit? I think it's probably a bit of both. Paul Brand's probably looking at these games, looking at their weaknesses, um, trying to nullify them, trying to kind of grind them down, especially their forwards, trying to wear them out a bit. Um, I'm, I'm expecting a different sort of game plan when it comes to the, the, the teams around us, to be honest, because obviously they'll uh, come and attack us a bit more. So it'll be interesting to see if we still play around at the back as well. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I suppose it's uh, game by game for Paul Brown. That's not how I see it, because his, his game plans tend to differ, don't they? So um, yeah, we'll see when we, when we play the bigger teams. They come for the draw, don't they? Even when they was losing, or, uh, when they was losing 1-0, they didn't make much effort to change it, did they, really? players come back in the squad now Rogic came on so hopefully Thomas Asante will be back for uh, for the midweek game do you think they'll have enough now to get into the top six hopefully um, again the squad is still a bit sort of threadbare I mean the injury, injuries really haven't helped but um, yeah hopefully if we get a couple of faces back in and around the team and get them to match fitness again um, I reckon we should have enough for the top six yeah uh, Palmer as well obviously um, get yeah. through Wednesday and um, although Griffiths isn't doing um, anything wrong really but um, but Palmer's come back after the next game hopefully because we've got that two and a half week break um, so yeah it was just get through it was just get through these games I, I said at the start I'd take seven points so that'll be a point on on Wednesday um, you probably wouldn't take that now you've won, the, won these two but um, but still a point wouldn't be too bad a, too bad a result down in Cardiff and you know we've got five home games five away games so um, if we can keep up our form here We've got we've got the uh, as we keep saying we've got the teams to play uh, Norwich, Millwall, Sunderland um, that have got to come here and they must be fearing it to be honest and then um, and then we've got the away games so but we've got to turn that around. Finally, we saw the protest before the game action for Albion. You know, you know, what's your, your take on that? And, and you know, are you sort of pleased to see that? And hopefully, it might make a bit of yeah, difference. Yeah, more for it. I mean, this was the first uh, sort of march. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping there's uh, there's more to come. To be honest, more more to come, a bit more backing, uh, a larger affair as well. If it does happen in the future, uh, just to get the point across, because um, I believe Ken, from what the Ken is going to uh, going to China to speak to Lai or, or whoever the majority shareholders are to to speak about this situation, in particular the five million loans. So hopefully this um, continues to put a spotlight on, on the issues going on. Oh yeah, yeah, let's hope he's listening. Let's hope he's listening.